going to see there. This is René Payet, Hello. Mayor of Wunderlich. Nice René Payet, nice to meet you. I'm the Consul General of Croatia. Very nice to meet you. It's an honor. Thank you for having us all. So we are half of the European continent, half of the European Union here. Hi, I'm Nathalie from the French Consulate. So Nathalie is the Deputy, uh, the Deputy yes, Consul General of France that yes. is the uh, incumbent... No more seats, so I'm going to go to my, Oh my God, you're, go, you're going to take and my seat. Remind me of the Council General's well, name. Who's sitting there? I've been a couple of times. But, and I've met her dog a couple of times. Uh, well, I probably encouraged it because I'm a dog person. It's a part of the auction. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, honorable city officials and foreign dignitaries. My name is Aurain Vares, and I would love to welcome you to an extraordinary concert entitled Solidarity for Democracy and Freedom, Solidarity for Ukraine. This fundraising, <laughs> this fundraising event for NGOs active in providing humanitarian relief for the Ukrainian refugees in Romania is organized by the Consulate General of Romania in Los Angeles with the support of the city of Beverly Hills. We must always take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor never the victim. Silence encourages the tormentor, never the tormented. 
Sometimes we must interfere. When human lives are in danger, when human dignity is in jeopardy, national borders and sensitivities become irrelevant. Wherever men or women are persecuted because of their race, religion, or political views, that place must, at that moment, become the center of the universe. These are the words written and said by the Romanian-born Eli Wiesel, a Holocaust survivor, during his acceptance speech, Nobel Prize acceptance speech, on December 10, 1980. We all condemn Russia's premeditated, unjustified, and unprovoked military aggression against Ukraine, which is a particular serious violation of international law and international commitments of the Russian Federation, including the UN Charter. It is an unacceptable act as Russia is a permanent member of the UN Security Council a body that guarantees global peace and security. We are here tonight to send a message that the tragedy that we are witnessing is not a matter only for our region or for Europe, but also for the entire global security. More than 200,000 Ukrainian refugees came to Romania from the beginning of the war. All of them have been taken care of by the Romanian authorities. More than 60,000 Romanian families offered their homes to host Ukrainian refugees until now. For them, for all of them who are here tonight to show our support and to prove to them they are not alone. Now please rise for the U.S. National Anthem performed by the multi-talented Sophie Fatou. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we fell at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we've walked were so gallantly streaming and the rocket reckless the bombard Thank you. You can be seated now.
And now I have the distinct pleasure of introducing to you Dr. Robert Wunderlich, the mayor of Beverly Hills. So I think that was the definition of a hard act to follow. But anyway, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to Beverly Hills. I wish that I had the opportunity to meet all of you under circumstances other than the circumstances that are drawing us here tonight. But it is my pleasure to be able to welcome you here tonight to support the people of Ukraine as they fight to protect their land, their culture, democracy, and freedom. Um, thank you also for starting with the words of Eli Wiesel. The, the words of Eli Wiesel always resonate very strongly in Beverly Hills. And so we do appreciate beginning with a quotation from, from Eli. This is truly a barbaric war. Where, where, where does one begin? This is a, a, an unprovoked war. This is a war in which civilians, civilians are being targeted and killed in mass. It's now into about the third week of this horrific war. One of the things you see is the incredible strength and the resiliency of the Ukrainian people. And that strength has been seen and felt across the globe. According to the UN, there already are about 3 million refugees coming out of Ukraine. Nothing like this has been seen, at least in Europe, you know, since World War II. I mean, this is era-defining. Uh, this is barbaric. This is horrific. And so we're very pleased to be supportive of tonight's con uh, concert, which is being hosted by the Council General of Romania. And, and thank you to Cosmin Dumitrescu, trying to come close there. And thank you all for being here today. And so please enjoy the evening's events and join me. Actually, before I say my last words, so we in Beverly Hills have tried to do our own our, provide our support in our own small way. We had been lighting up City Hall in the colors of Ukraine. We had to stop that because you may have noticed the construction as you were coming in. But we are putting up banners on the bridge just to the east of City Hall across Rexford in the colors of Ukraine. We have ensured that none of our city investments are in any shape or form connected with Russia. And we have instructed our treasurer to remove any investments that we might have in uh, stocks or other means that are invested in Russia. And so we, in our own way, have tried to provide our support. And to additionally try to provide our support, we're happy to be the host here tonight. And we are all here tonight to stand in support of Ukraine. So thank you. Thank you so much for hosting our event. And now I would like to introduce to you, and it's my pleasure and my honor, to introduce to you Dr. Cosmin Dumitrescu, Council General of Romania in Los Angeles. Oh, thank you very much, Laura. Thank you very much, Mayor Wunderlich. Uh, I have more than a page and a half of thank yous, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to express my gratitude, first of all, to, to the city of Beverly Hills, to the mayor of Wunderlich, and to all council members that embraced our proposal uh, immediately when we tried to, to raise that flag of solidarity for people that are facing a disaster very far away from us here, but not from our source, in Ukraine and in Eastern Europe. My country, Romania, is a neighboring country as a neighboring country is Lithuania, the country of my colleague here, of Lima, and I would like to express my gratitude also for Germany, Lithuania, France, Croatia, and the whole European Union that is represented with Council General here in, the, in Los Angeles. All of them are supportive of this event, and all of them are continuously supporting all the manifestations and event for Ukraine and for Ukrainian refugees. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here with us, for being such good friends and, so, uh, and being such great humanitarians. Major, Major Wunderlich, Council General, 
and all of you, my dear friends, because you, dear friends, all of you are friends of peace. Thank you, Ora, for introducing the event of today with the amazing words of Eli Wiesel. I will pronounce the name as he pronounced his name when he was a child. He was born and he spent most of his childhood in Sigetul Marmatie. That's the northern part of Romania. And that's the main border point, Sigetul Marmatie, that is crossed right now by Ukrainian refugees. So the birth city of, of Eli Wiesel is now once again in the middle of a very interesting time. And that was very inspired to bring him here with his words because they are once again very actual, very valid for what we are crossing. Because what are doing the Ukrainians right now? They are striving to preserve what we enjoy here. We heard the words of the national anthem of the United States, the land of the free. This is what Ukrainians want, freedom. And it's so nice to see here in this room the representatives of so many communities that are here in Los Angeles and in Beverly Hills. And I could see Armenian uh, Americans. I could see, of course, Romanian Americans. I love you all. I could see uh, the Jewish community very well represented. And they helped us so much in organizing this event. Thank you, Jacob. Jacob Segal is somewhere here. Give him a round of applause. He's absolutely amazing. Yes. And all communities responded, replied, and answered to our appeal. Thank you all. And Ukrainians are fighting for their freedom. People are born free, says Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Yet, this fundamental right is the most restricted right in the world. Freedom is life, and it's the oxygen of our soul. The price for freedom is the uncountable lives lost in the continuous fight to defend it, to defend freedom. And Ukrainians are dying now, fighting for their freedom. Their families suffer the consequences of an unlawful invasion. And we need to reject it. We need not to accept it and not to recognize the so-called republics of Donetsk or Luhansk. Without freedom, there is only pain. And you are going to see a short video with Ukrainian families living in pain, suffering because of this war. They are torn from their families, fathers and brothers and husbands remain in Ukraine to fight, to defend their countries, and their families are crossing the Romanian border, the Polish border, the Hungarian border, the Lithuanian border, all borders that they can cross to the Republic of Moldova to save their souls and to enjoy freedom and to try to survive. We love freedom. And nobody loves more freedom than the Americans. Our peoples, American, European, love freedom. How many times our nations cried because of wars? How many times do we need to continue to cry and to suffer for defending our freedom. Cicero said that we cannot put a price on freedom or on our freedom. Freedom is the only way to reach divinity and happiness. I wanted to talk today about freedom because this is what really unites all of us here in Europe or globally. Humanity is a definition of a culture of freedom. 
aggression, war, crimes, have nothing to do with humanity, nothing to do with freedom, nothing to do with civilization, and nothing to do with our basic values that are the core engine of our nations. I wish you all to enjoy this amazing evening with these amazing artists that are a combination of the multicultural environment of Beverly Hills and of Los Angeles. Thank you for your attention. Each and every one of us knows what it meant to be a perfect 10. And even if Nadia Komanich cannot be here, she has sent us a video in support of our own efforts to support as well Ukraine and Ukrainian refugees. Video, please. Good evening, dear friends. I am sorry that I cannot be with you in person tonight. But I am very thankful for the to see that there are so many of us here in the United States that stand in solidarity for Ukraine and for the Ukrainian people that face such a difficult time. Most of you know me as the gymnast who scored the first perfect 10 in the Olympic history. Sport is a beautiful attribute of civilization for nonviolence and peace between people. Almost half a million of refugees already crossed Romanian borders from the beginning of the war in Ukraine. We all gather here tonight to express our solidarity with the Ukrainian people and to support three of the biggest NGOs active in assisting refugees the Romanian Red Cross, Habitat for Humanity, and Save the Children. I strongly encourage you to join me to express your solidarity and to support the ones they are now working on the ground to help the people in need coming from Ukraine. I thank you all, and I hope to see you soon in person. Romania joins the international community and rejects Russia's irresponsible behavior that undermines the principles of international relations and international law, calling for an immediate, complete, and unconditional cease of Russian military aggression, a complete and immediate withdrawal of Russian troops from all over Ukraine within its internationally recognized borders. Romania rejects the idea of new spheres of influence. Ukraine has the right to freely decide its own future and the course of its foreign and security policy. Romania stands in solidarity with the multilateral efforts of the international community, rallying as many of their supporters as possible in all international cooperation frameworks. The crisis in Ukraine shows how important it is for countries in the European community and NATO and those in other regions and continents to work together to promote international rules and universal values. And again, that's why we are all gathered here tonight to support Ukraine, its citizens, and find ways to alleviate their suffering by donating to the Romanian Red Cross, Habitat for Humanity Romania, and Save the Children. Now I'm going to have a short introduction of an Italian artist who could not be here with us but he also is sending you his regards, and we are going to actually look right now at his own painting. Antonio Del Prete is an Italian painter and sculptor whose work has exhibited internationally, 
including a special viewing at the Vatican by Pope Francis. In 2020, Antonio was featured in the Italian Bible of contemporary art, L'Atlante dell'Arte Contemporanea, as one of the 800 Italian artists that have influenced contemporary art between 1950 and 2020. His work has also been published in the textbook Constructing Critical Consciousness. Good evening, everyone. My name is Antonio Del Prete, and I'm an Italian artist. Thank you so much for being here today. Unfortunately, I can't be with you, but I hope that with my humble work, I can stretch out to the Ukrainian people and to those who are fighting and dying for this awful war, especially kids. Those kids that have been uprooted from their motherland. And that's why the painting I'm donating today for the fundraising focuses on them the young generation. The girl that I represent in my painting, she wears an Ukrainian flag. The mask then, we all know, represent the idea of a resilience, not as a word, but as a state of mind. Resist, resist. The box that she holds in her hands is the box of dreams that any child is entitled to. Liberating butterflies who symbolize change, hope and life. A flying to a crown of flowers representing beauty and love. And that's on this powerful word that I want to end this message. May love fulfill and conquer all our heart because without love, nothing is possible. May God bless us all. Have a great evening. Now we are going to have a video of the refugees.
we would love to say thank you to ProTV Romania for this emotional footage. And now I'm going to invite our youngest, a very talented performer, Sophie Fatu, to come once again with her mother, Victoria Fatu. Sophie Fatu is one of the youngest jazz recording artists in the history. Her videos of Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Nina Simone classics have topped 200 million views and counting. She's also the youngest jazz artist to ever record an album at Capitol Record Studios in Los Angeles. At the age of four, Sophie has become a part of the NBC Little Big Shot show with Steve Harvey, and later she performed on The Ellen Show. Sophie also starred on America's Got Talent, season 13. Sophie is actually performing around the country and successfully pursuing her acting career in Hollywood. She has appeared on TV shows such as Will and Grace, Goliath, The Kids Are All Right, and on the big screen next to Mel Gibson in the movie Last Looks. Victoria Fatu, her talented mother, is an internationally recognized pianist. She showed an early interest in the arts as she began singing at the age of three and studying piano at the age of eight, ultimately completing her bachelor and master's degrees at the Moscow State Conservatory in Russia. Victoria has scored victories in numerous international competitions and received multiple grants from major music foundations, including first prize at the AMSA, World Piano Competition for Young Pianists in Cincinnati, and second prize at the 2007 Young Concert Artist Competition in New York City. She has appeared and performed with symphonies around the world, most recently in the United States as a soloist at Carnegie Hall. Please welcome Sophie and Victoria. Yesterday, all my troubles seemed so far away. Now it looks as though they're here. Oh, I believe in yesterday Suddenly I'm not half the man I used to be There's a shadow hanging over me Oh, yesterday came suddenly Why? Love was such an easy game 
Isn't she wonderful? Okay, let's have a round of, round of applause. Sophie, you're absolutely amazing. Wow. Okay. Can I be you when I grow up? <laughs> okay. So we will continue. I guess, you know, talent runs in the family. So this time, we are going to have Ivan Krasovsky. He's an Ukrainian-born singer, baritone tenor, and soloist of the academic song and dance ensemble of the State Border Guard Service of Ukraine. He was an honored artist of Ukraine in 2002, winner of the International Festival Rainbow in Hungary in 1993, Winner of All Ukrainian Competition, Faith and All Ukrainian Song Vernissage in 2002, and winner of the Grand Prix of the Festival of Modern Romance, Autumn Rendezvous in 2003. Welcome, Ivan Krasovsky. <laughs> Ще не вмерла України ні слава, ні воля. Ще нам, братя молоді, усміхнеться доля. Згинуть наші воріженьки, Як роса на сонці. Запануєм іме, браття, У своїй сторонці. Душу і тіло ми положимо за нашу свободу і покажемо, що ми браття козацького роду. Душу і тіло ми положимо за нашу свободу і покажемо, що ми браття козацького роду. I'm sorry for my English. My English not, is not very well, but uh, I need to find some nice words for each of us. I would like, I would like to say a huge thank you for each of us, because you are understanding all the situation that we have in Ukraine. It's horrible. This is disaster. Every time my wife wants to cry, my mother is crying in Ukraine. My, my, my mother now lives in Chernovitz. Chernovitz, it's very near uh, from Romania border. It's a very safe place now at this time, but I'm not sure that this place will be safe tomorrow. I would like to say thank you for each of us for your support, for your being in our Ukrainians' life. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Ukrainians very love uh, your mothers. I very like. I very love my mothers, and I would like to sing this song. for mothers, about mothers. And I will be imagining
my mother during singing this song. And I hope that each of us will be imagining each yours mothers. Видно, мати моя, ти ночей не доспала. Ти водила мене в поля, край села, і в дорогу далеку ти мене на зорі провочала. І рушник вишиваний на щастя дала, і в дорогу далеку ти мене на зорі провочала. І рушник вишиваний на щастя на долю дала. Хай на ньому цвіте росяниста доріжка і зелені сади солов'їні хаї. І твоя незрадлива материнська ласкава усмішка і засмучені очі хороші твої, і твоя незрадлива материнська ласкава усмішка. І засмучені очі, хороші, блакитні твої. Thank you, guys. Our next performers are Evgeny Tonka, who was born into a musically inclined family. He graduated from the Russian Academy of Music. Evgeny did his postgraduate studies at the Hans Eisler Academy of Music in Berlin. Since 2006, Evgeny has been collaborating with the Berliner Philharmoniker Orchestra. Among his achievements, are the first prize and the golden medal at the 12th International Cello Competition in the Czech Republic, the special jury prize at the 13th International Tchaikovsky Competition. He also participated in many prestigious festivals, including Marlborough Festival. In 2014, in collaboration with Nathan Frankel, he founded a new K-17 concert series in Los Angeles. He is also teaching at Mimoda Studio. He's going to be accompanied by our own talented Christian Fatu. Christian Fatu is an award-winning violinist based in Los Angeles, a member of the New West Symphony. Christian holds a bachelor degree from the National Music University of Bucharest, a master and an artist diploma from Park University, Missouri. He is a top prize winner at more than 25 national and international violin competitions in his native Romania and abroad, including first prize at the 2008 Kingsville International Competition in Texas, and the grand prize and first prize, the 2000 Remember Enescu International Violin Competition in Romania as well. He has built a significant career, having multiple appearances in the United States, 
in Europe, including the Music Celebrations International Festival at Carnegie Hall, New York City, the International Summer Academy, Prague, Vienna, Budapest in Austria, and the Kyoto International Music Students Festival in Japan. Please welcome Christian. Absolutely. Hello, everyone. I wish my mom would be here to hear uh, her talking about me. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for the introduction, for my introduction, for everybody's introduction. And I'm, I'm a musician. I'm not a politician, so I'm, I'm not going to talk politics. I just want to say that uh, I'm extremely impressed by, the, by, by this event and by the answer to, to the call we placed for musicians, for everyone that wanted to be involved with, with such an event, a fundraising event. And, uh, and then, as, as you can see from the program, we are musicians from all different countries. I'm from Romania, Evgeny and Victoria are from Russia. Uh, then we have Dan, that's originally from China. And then we have Elisabetta from Italy. And then we have uh, Sophie, which was born here. She's, uh, she's American. So what, what we want to show here is that you know, the, the, the people, people are good. People want to work together. It's, it's just that the, the people at the top that are the evil ones, to, to put it blithely. Um, so um, we had to change a little the program. Um, and we will play for you the, the Pasacalia for violin and cello by Handel Halvorsen. So please welcome once again Evgeny and Christiana.
Thank you so much, Evgeny. Christian, I think you will stay. And Christian and Dan Yu will be the next performers. Dan is a skilled artist who was born in China and immigrated to the United States with his parents in 1997. After high school, he continued his piano studies at UCLA and received a bachelor degree in piano performance. He has won numerous piano competitions and scholarships, including the Musical Merit and La Jolla Young Artist Competition. He is also teaching piano in San Diego. Please welcome Dan and once again, Cristiano.
Dan is going to enchant that with one more song. We know. We're very pleased to have you here tonight.
now it is my pleasure to introduce to you a very known art dealer in Beverly Hills, Leon Weinstein, who is going to introduce three Ukrainian artists. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is in Germany Leon Weinstein, in Russia Weinstein, in America usually Weinstein. Uh, but it's all the same thing. I was born in St. Petersburg, uh, Russia. At the time of my birth, it was Leningrad, USSR. And at that time, uh, half of Russians that I knew married, are married Ukrainians, half of them were Ukrainians, and you were married with Russians. Uh, the smartest one married Jews, of course, but that's beside the point. Uh, my roots are from one grandfather from Ukraine, another grandfather from Belarus, near Minsk, small city called Pinsk. No one knows where is it. Me too. I have no idea where is it. Probably it was a very important place at that time. And Germany and Austria. So for me, when one nation fights another, it doesn't make any sense because I probably have inside of me at least four, maybe eight, maybe 24 different nations, bloods, and so on and so on. And before I started with, with introduction of the paintings, I would like to say thank you for Romania because, guys, you're doing something absolutely opposite of what Putin is doing now, and it is absolutely great. You're accepting people in need. We're not, you're not bombing them, you're not, you're not pushing them, you're not doing, you are welcoming them to your homes. And I know that Romanians and, and Polish people, a lot of them take people into their homes, not open schools, which is also great, thank you very much. And on behalf of Ukrainian part of me, I would like to say thank you very much for that. And two more minutes, okay, 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 okay. two minutes, four. Uh, you know, when uh, I left Soviet Union in 1973, long time ago, and first time when I came back, it was 1989, uh, because the Soviet Union began to fall apart and, and it was such a great promise of, of future with free Russia, free Soviet Union, because uh, it was still Soviet Union. When I came there for some reason, this week I came there first time and felt apart. Nothing to do with me, just coincidence, if somebody thinks something otherwise. Uh, we, we believed, by the way, I mean my, my wife and myself, believed in that so much that we approached Mayor Bradley uh, and offer him to uh, take Leningrad, at that time, St. Petersburg, as a sister city. Then we approached mayor of St. Petersburg, Sobchak, and offered him. And we brought Sobchak here and accompanying Mayor Bradley to St. Petersburg. We signed that, and I become more or less unofficial advisor to first St. Petersburg uh, government, and then a little bit to the, to the, uh, the whole Russia in Moscow on how to change their country into Western ways. Uh, I was a little bit a unique animal because uh, most of the people who lived abroad didn't know Russia. Most of the people who lived in Russia didn't know what capitalism is all about, what freedom is all about. And I was already 18 years outside of the, of the Soviet Union and, and suddenly I was the darling of every, uh, from Yeltsin to everybody else, of, to ask me questions about how is capitalism, how, tell us. And I was saying, it's wonderful. <laughs> the exploitation of person, of a person by other person is great. Guys, we believed in that so much and then I met Putin. We met with him a number of times and then I went to all my new friends and said, he's from KGB. And they told me, yeah, but there are some people in KGB that are good, some people in KGB that are bad. And I couldn't believe it because most of my family died in KGB, including my beloved grandfather. So uh, at that time, I began to distance myself from, from them. And, and uh, I'm so sorry that the feeling I had toward Putin and toward other people who were around him 
prove to be right. When, when you KGB by your soul, and he at age 15 went to KGB and asked to tell on his fellow student. He offered KGB to tell on his friends. This is the person that we, we now have as a head of the government. So again, thank you all for coming here. Thank you all for doing what you are doing. Thank you, Romania. Thank you. I kind of have three faces. One of them, I am a chairman of Science of Freedom Foundation, and a week ago we, uh, we sent a petition to hug to call Putin the international war criminal. We have about 200, I believe, 300, uh, ton, tens of 300, 100 ton, thousands. Oh my God. Uh, signatures and growing. Uh, and uh, as a, in the capacity of international art dealer, I have friends uh, whom I represented and still in great relations with who are Ukrainian artists. And three artists, and I show you three uh, objects of art right now in a second, called me and said, you have our jiclets. Uh, do something with them. Sell and send money to whoever it is in Ukraine need the money. So at that time, a friend of mine, Yana, who half organized this evening, Yana, uh, he called me and said, can you help? I said, yes, I would love to help. So first of all, first artist I would like you to uh, see is an artist by the name Andrew Atroshenko. Uh, he's an internationally recognized artist. He won in uh, 2008 an international portrait competition in, in Canada, in Toronto. Uh, this is a Giclet. I don't know, you probably know what Giclet is. His paintings go for anywhere between twenty to $50,000. This is his Giclet, which is signed by him, numbered by him. It's a copy uh, made by hand. Uh, of his work, and it usually goes in galleries for about $2,000. I hope you guys find it interesting enough to buy it, take it in your home, and send the money to people in need. Another, another artist is an absolutely famous in the whole world city scape artist. Uh, his name is Mitro Danish. Dimitri Danish now lives here in Los Angeles, but he's from Kharkov, Ukraine, and he and his wife are about 24 hours a day uh, watching TV, talking on the phone, because most of their families, most of their friends, most of their close associates are there, bummed right now, right now, this moment. Yeah, uh, this Jicle also is about $1,500 in the galleries. His paintings also goes for about $15,000, $20,000. And the last one is actually a couple. They paint together. No one knows how they do it. I cannot do even, even a simple thing together with my wife, but they, somehow they manage. And they do absolutely beautiful things. And we love their portraits of young women. It's an absolutely amazing, beautiful. Michael and Inessa Garmash. They are from Lugansk. They escaped from Lugansk in 2014, I believe, when... when the whole story started with Russia. Actually, Russia fighting with Ukraine, not from 21 days ago. It's, it started in 2014. It started before, but, but that was under the, whatever, rug war, war started. And the last thing I want to say, and again, uh, Garmashes are, uh, have personal exhibitions in everywhere, in Belgium, in France, in, in London, in New York, all around the United States. And, I believe about 30 or 40,000 of Giclés made from their work, so they are practically world famous. Last thing I would like to say here, and sorry for so much time, taking my wife after that will punish me, tell you. As usual, you start talking about yourself. Uh, Putin already lost. The war is still looming. The war 
is still not over, and maybe Russians even will conquer Kiev and other cities. But he already lost, because 37 countries are not allowing Russian planes to enter their space, because no university in Europe and America right now will take any Russian diploma uh, accepted, because no one sends them parts to their medical equipment, and it will stop working in two or three months. Because, because, because the world finally said no. And I hope that we will stop this regime and it will be a great lesson to everyone who wants to start taking what's not theirs using weaponry. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We all know that this is a charity event. We all know that we have to help the Ukrainian refugees that right now are struggling and are coming, they are pouring into Romania and Poland. We would love to help them out tonight because all these amazing musicians that you have listened to, they have donated their time and their talent. I'm also going to bring the little Picasso, Alexandra Nekita, who is going to actually introduce her own work. And then we are going to do a live auction of all the paintings that you are going to actually have here. Alexandra? Alexandra. <laughs> um, good evening, everyone. I wish it was under other circumstances that we'd be together tonight, but um, such, is, such is life. I, um, it resonated with me what Mr. Cosmin Dumitrescu said earlier when he was talking about this idea of freedom, right? I think that this room, uh, our event tonight with very talented musicians, so many other artists in their own liking, Anastasia, Norvina, all artists, right? What do you seek the most in your artistry? It's freedom, right? You do it in pursuit of freedom, and you find the utmost freedom when you do it. Um, I don't want to put words in people's mouth, but that has been my experience in the process of art making since I was a very tiny kid. Um, you know, I'm riddled with a lot of sadness and a lot of bad feelings at the reality of all the devastation that's happening in Ukraine um, for many reasons. Being a human, a fellow human watching such tragedy, um, but especially given the fact that my husband is from Donetsk, Ukraine, and um, he left when he was 10 years old. He has deep roots, family, associates, attachment, um, and it's been heartbreaking to watch him feel so helpless from afar. But even in the midst of all of these feelings of sadness and, and incredible heaviness, I keep feeling very proud. I'm proud tonight to be in my home city that is showing this kind of support. Um, they are a wonderful community that are always advocating for the arts. I have one of my bronze pieces just across the way that are always advocating for human rights, for social causes. I'm proud to be in a room with a lot of familiar faces and new faces who had decided tonight to take time out of their night to be here and to show their support um, for Ukraine but I'm most proud to be Romanian. And I know this because I firsthand get to experience the incredible hospitality and compassion and kindness and just giving heart that Romanians have. We're just built with it. That's just who we are. But it's so spectacular to see, even under these torturous circumstances, how truly compassionate, how truly loving, how much Romanians want to give back. Um, to see them open their homes to strangers, to see them share their loaf of bread with, with people crossing the border, to see them with the very little that they have give back to try to just be there for somebody. Um, and I'm so privileged to be in the company of people who have exactly those sentiments, of a community that shares those feelings and who wants to continue to do the best that they can. So um, tonight I'm here because of all of the incredible pride that I feel um, to be part of communities and to be part of people, groups of people who advocate for doing what is right when the world is showing us too often what is wrong. Um, this piece, we had a little bit of a hiccup with the transportation of it. 
Uh, I made it especially for tonight. It's a line drawing. And I've always, you know, I, I, I was labeled the, uh, an ambassador for peace through the arts by the United Nations when I was a child. I've always shared this messaging of peace, and, and not in a really theatrical way, but in just this idea of kindness and tolerance and just treating people the way you want to be treated, equality. Um, and so the subject is a very familiar subject to me and one that I feel comfortable talking about and, and painting about. Um, and it felt pretty appropriate to try to exemplify that in this drawing, um, given everything that is happening so far, but yet so close to so many of us. So thank you all for being here. Thank you to um, the consulate for putting on this event and for including me and to the incredible talent that was here for sharing with us um, your, your wonderful gifts. I hope you guys have a good night. Thank you. Okay, so just because we have Alexandra here and her amazing piece of art, we are going to start a live auction. And the very first one, it's going to be, we're going to start with $6,000 for Alexandra Nikita. So let's see exactly who is willing to take home an amazing art by Alexandra Nikita. Just raise your hand, please. How much? 7,000, can I hear 7,000? Excellent, thank you. Somebody else, $8,000 for Alexandra Nikita. You. Who's going to be willing to actually give us $10,000? Do I hear $10,000? Excellent, thank you. Well, do I hear $11,000? Let's hear $11,000. Come on, we're all here to support an amazing cause. Do I hear $11,000? Thank you so much, Simona. Do I hear... Amazing artist was mostly recognized all over the world. $13,000. That's my lucky number. Come on. $13,000. Do I hear it? $13,000. My lucky number. Let's see. Let's see. Third. Excellent. Thank you so much. Do I hear 15? Because that's also very, very amazing. Do I hear $15,000? $15,000 for an amazing art. You are going to go home with Alexandra Nikita, not with her, with her art. $15,000. Let's hear $15,000. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much for buying a piece of history, for having Alexandra Nikita in your own home. Alexandra, where are you? $15,000, and Anastasia bought your art. Excellent. Thank you so much. And now I have the pleasure of introducing to you Anastasia Suarez, the queen of eyebrows. Your Excellence, Honorable Cosmin Dumitrescu, Consul General of Romania in Los Angeles. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm very happy to be here with you in this important occasion. Following the invitation of the Consulate General of Romania in Los Angeles and the city of Beverly Hills, I would like to say that I'm truly honored to take part and support the extraordinary Concert, Solidarity for Democracy and Freedom, Solidarity for Ukraine. Like all of you, I have closely following the evolving humanitarian crisis that has unfolded over the past three weeks in Ukraine. I denounce the unprovoked attack on, on a sovereign uh, nation and continue to dislocate family and destroy communities. This is a tragedy that impacts all of us, and we sincerely hope 
that peace and democracy will be restored across the region. I strongly believe that working together in solidarity for Ukrainian refugees in Romania is a must in this crucial time. Therefore, we need to stand united and support them. This fundraising event of NGOs active in providing much needed relief for Ukrainian refugees in Romania represents a great beginning for the humanitarian events I am planning to attend in Romania in the following weeks. I know that this is a dynamic situation and by going to Romania, I will have the chance to evaluate and mobilize funds for the Ukrainian refugees through various uh, organizations. I'm already supporting Blue Heron Foundations, and if you are not familiar with, you could connect with uh, Stefania Madison that is doing an incredible job. Um, the organization is prepared to help uh, Ukrainian refugees in Moldova and Romania. Another great organization that I am proudly supporting, it's Social uh, Shelter, Sfântul Cuvios Arsenie Cel Mare, uh, in Tekirgul, Romania. It's a center that is founded by Father Banu and has helped abandoned children and mother in difficulty before. And now he is helping uh, Ukrainian refugees, specifically 34 Ukrainians. Then most of them are mothers with, with very little children. 11 uh, Romanians, which three are mothers, seven are children, and one woman with a baby on the way. 100% of my donation will be, per, for, will be used to purchase food, clothing, medicine, hygiene items, and provide shelter, heating, and other necess necessary equipment for them. It's this this uh, shelter, it's, uh, this organization is very close to my heart because I get uh, pictures of all of them, all their activity every day, and I look at their face and I see how sad they are. In addition, I'm hosting, I'm sorry. I'm hosting two young mothers and their children and their current father in my apartment in Constanza. And funny enough, one of the women name is Anastasia. After careful evaluation in various nonprofit organizations providing support <coughs> to the refugees in Romania in the name of Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm sorry, um, we choose to donate to Red Cross Romania, Save the Children, Habitat for Humanity, and UNICEF Romania. This organization has shown an incredible commitment to get a lot of relief for Ukrainian people. It's hard. It's very hard for me. I understand how important it is to stand together and help these people more than ever. We all have to stand together for Ukraine. Now is the right time to speak up and to believe in peace and solidarity. Once again, I would like to express my deep appreciation for the Consulate General of Romania and the city of Beverly Hills for hosting this extraordinary event for the Ukrainian refugee in Romania. I'm sorry. and giving them a chance to start a new life the way you gave me 30 years ago when I came here as a political refugee. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop my tears because every day I look at this one, those women with the little children and they don't know what the future, what the next day will be like. I'm so sorry I couldn't stop. I, I really apologize. I couldn't keep my... Back. I hope so. Thank you. Please donate and let's help the, uh, the refugees. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry.
Well, I really believe you are going to be in for a real treat. Victoria is going to come and join us once again with Elisabetta Russo. Elisabetta Russo masterfully combines her passion and enchanting bel canto with her elegant grand gala style arias. She is widely acclaimed for her reeling roles in both opera, Don Pasquale, Così Fan Tutte, Rigoletto, and Falstaff, and musical theater, The Phantom of the Opera, and Carousel. Elisabetta has been praised for her collaboration with film composers and Oscar winners such as Ennio Morricone and Nicola Piovani. Elisabetta moved to Los Angeles from Italy in 2013 following her extraordinary success at a special concert held at Paramount Studios with Andrea Bocelli and David Foster. Her most successful and recent appearances include the New York Fashion Week, the Los Angeles Staples Center as guest singer of the national anthem for the LA Clippers, Caesar Palace in Las Vegas, and the Chicago Cultural Center. She has been part of wonderful events for nonprofits such as Caterina's Club, Carlo Ponti Los Angeles Virtuosi Orchestra, and California Hospital and Medical Center Foundation, and Israel Guide Dog Center for the Blind. Please welcome Elisabetta and Victoria once again.
Elisabetta. Uh, Elis Elisabetta has a surprise, so come yes, on. Yes, I have a little surprise for you. Um, first of all, I want to thank you, uh, the Consul General of Romania and the City of Beverly Hills for inviting me for such a special occasion and for this amazing cause. And uh, very few people know that most famous Neapolitan songs in history uh, has been composed by uh, Eduardo Di Capua while touring in Ukraine, uh, specifically in um, Odessa. And uh, he was uh, looking, got his inspiration by looking at the waves of the Black Sea at dawn. Ladies and gentlemen, also a meal. <laughs> Fear, but I kept this for later. I wanted to give special thanks to the Italian American community that helped us organizing some very important aspects of this evening. So it's Elisabetta that has something, but it's something from God, probably. Thank you, Elisabetta. And the other artist that probably Aura is going to talk about him, Antonio Del Prete. He cannot be here. He's in Mallorca, poor one. So. <laughs> and of course, that, that couldn't be possible without the, the help of my dear friends and colleagues, Silvia Chiave, Consul, Consul General of Italy in Los Angeles. And that's going to bring me to another live auction. Because we do know that Antonio has donated this amazing art that says resist. How many of us have been in those situations that we had to resist? 
we really had to put ourselves together and just care for one more second for this life. Many times, especially not only Romanians, but we do know that we have gone through a Romanian revolution and we had to resist. We also know all the immigrants who came to the United States and they had to challenge themselves, leaving behind their own roots, their own culture, and adjust and adapt themselves to a new environment. We all had to resist at one point in our lives. And so now, tonight, I want you to literally help us help the Ukrainian immigrants, the refugees that are actually right now in Romania. So I'm going to start the live auction with $6,000 for resist. Who's going to give me $6,000 for resist by Antonio Del Prete? $6,000. Thank you so much. Thank you, 6,000. Who is going to enchant us with my favorite number, which is July, and it's seven. So who's going to give us $7,000 for Antonio Del Prete? $7,000. Thank you so much. Well, eight, we all know that it's the symbol of infinite, right? So let's go with $8,000 for this um, Thank you, Simona. And would you care to go for $9,000? Excellent. That's what I thought. Nine. Nine is a good number, actually. Well, I do like round numbers. Ten. I mean, come on. You're always a ten like Nadia. Ten. Ten thousand dollars. Thank you so much, Simona. Well, we do know that $11,000 is not going to harm us. $11,000. Excellent. How about $12,000? Because, you know, 12 disciples, 12. Excellent. $12,000. How about if we're going to go with $13,000? $13,000. Again, I told you that's my favorite number. Remember? $13,000. $13,000. Thank you so much. And Simona... This piece of art, it's all yours. Thank you so much. So we are going to continue this night with Yasha Konvitzer. He is a Ukrainian violin performer who had numerous concerts. His last project, in 2017, it's a multicultural one entitled, Everyone is a Friend in Odessa. Please welcome Yasha.
I have the pleasure to introduce to you. Wow. Hit it.
thank you so much. Thank you so much. I wanted to, uh, I normally would not take the word or the floor again, but it's absolutely inspiring. I would like to give you my gratitude, our gratitude for sharing with us a part of your heart, a part of your Ukrainian soul, and a part of your culture, and to give that away for a good cause, for helping your people. Thank you. I would also have a great pleasure and honor to invite here one of my friends, our friends, and host here, Council Member John Mirish, that gave me a wonderful news. And I'm not going to give that away. I'm going to invite John to, to share that with us. Thank you, John. Thank you for me. Well, thank you. It's an honor to be here, and I, I, I just want to say that we in Beverly Hills like to think of ourselves, we're a small village, but we're a fairly cosmopolitan one. And when you have Romanian people here doing an event for the Ukraine, playing Argentinian music, I think we've got a lot of countries covered. And, you know, so it does take a village, and it takes, it takes the world, and everyone coming together to support the Ukraine. And I, I would just like to let you know that our council two weeks ago, when the Russian aggression started, made a very strong statement. Sometimes at councils we'll do resolutions. And we did a resolution condemning the Russian aggression, specifically calling out Putin, but also in support of the, uh, in, in support of the Ukrainian people. But beyond that, and this was something that I thought about, because when I, we saw the bravery of President Zelensky, who is also, it, ironically, was being called a Nazi by Putin, here is someone whose family uh, lived through the Holocaust, who is Jewish. Beverly Hills happens to be a community that is one of the only Jewish majority communities outside of Israel. So the thought was, we need to treat him like one of us, because he is one of us. And so in addition to condemning the aggression, uh, the city of Beverly Hills, in, in, in all my 10 years on the council, we've never done anything like that we actually declared that he is an honorary citizen of Beverly Hills. So, it is our, something that I also want to thank you for is I've always believed, in, you know, we rotate as mayor. So we're, we're on the council, we're elected to the council. Uh, I've been mayor three times and, and each time you're mayor you get a chance to try and put a little bit of your own st personal stamp on, on what happens during that year. For me, arts and culture was always a big focus because we see, I've always felt it brings people together and we see here how it not only brings people together to enjoy ourselves when people are singing together and making music together, everyone is happy, uh, but also to do something that reminds us about who we are as human beings. And arts and culture are so important, even in times of war, even in bad times, maybe they're more important than ever. So I'd like to thank the, the Romanian, the Consul General, everyone here from Romania, um, you know, to express our thanks that you chose our city to do this. And my hope is, is that, that we will continue not just to try and raise money for terrible things, but also to have fun together, to create this international community of which we are a very small part. We, as said, I think of Beverly Hills always having grown up here as a village, as a small village, and we know that we are all connected, though. And this, this is one wonderful way in which we are connected is through music. So thank you to the Romanian Consul General and, the, and, and everyone here, and thank you for all of your generosity in, in helping to support the Ukrainian people. We are all with you, and thank you for having this in our home, Beverly Hills. I'm going to invite once again Victoria Fertu to be in the spotlight. Victoria.
Well, since tonight is about giving and uh, offering our support to the refugees, um, together with Victoria, we'll, we're uh, donating a box of our CDs, and the proceeds will go straight to the, the refugees. These are the CDs. Also, we would like to offer CDs to the people that already bought works of art, paintings, uh, on top of the painting. Uh, it will come with one of our CDs, so uh, I'll let Aura to deal with the details. Excellent. Uh, Christian, how many boxes do you have? 30 CDs. 30 CDs. Excellent. So we will start with $100 because you cannot go home without Victoria's and Christian's music. So who's going to give me the first $100 for this CD? Let's see. Thank you so much, Council General of Romania in Los Angeles. Second one, who is going to, excellent, thank you so much. Come and please take it. And then another one, yes, Jacob, please, thank you so much. Vlad, excellent, thank you so much, $100. Who is going to give me more? Raluca, 100 Mara, 100 Okay, let's see more people. We have more CDs, you guys. You know, you cannot go home empty-handed, right? So let's see, another, Robin, thank you so much, $100. Julia, yes, thank you so much, $100. Thank you so much. Sylvia, another $100.
Thank you, Christi Simona. Thank you so much. Another $100. Somebody else. Another $100. Do we still have CDs? Yes, okay. Another $100. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you. Another 100. Another 100. We're moving very fast. Don't you love that? Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> I have a proposition. Oh, please do. Well, I would say probably they are very expensive, Anastasia. We would go, we would settle for 6000 Okay, don't get greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Anastasia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love you. Okay, and we have three more works of arts, and I'm going to bring Leon here, and he's going to take over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, you are a wonderful, wonderful auctioneer, wonderful. But we will start with a little bit different message. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, who is ready to give zero dollars for this wonderful painting to take it home? Zero dollars. I want to see your hands. No one wants? No one? Okay, thank you. Next. No one? Wow. Okay, one dollar. One dollar. No one wants to give one dollar. Thank you very, very much. Okay. And how about two dollars? Two dollars. Yes, thank you very much. Two or one ninety-five? Uh, okay. How about one hundred? Who, who ready to give one hundred dollars for this painting? One hundred dollars. Yes, one hundred. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a wonderful work of art. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Nothing. Two hundred. Three hundred dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Now five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Who wants to take this painting? Uh, no, my wife cannot do that. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, five hundred dollars. No takers. No takers. Okay. Five. Three hundred dollars once. Oh wow. Five hundred dollars. Your cousin. Why are you jumping? No. Okay. Uh, five hundred dollars. Anything? Anybody ready to give one thousand dollar for the charity for the Ukraine? for the people who are struggling and get this wonderful painting in your house, $1,000, $1,000 here, thank you. I understand, Fig higher figures will bring more enthusiasm. So how about $2,000 for that? $2,000, yes. Okay, note one, $1,000 goes once, $1,000 goes twice, maybe $1,100, eh? no one, no? Okay, uh, $1,054. $1,000 goes three. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. Two. Ha! Two! 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 Ha. I'll pay you a buck for the, for the trouble, okay? Yeah. $2,000 over there. Young gentleman with, with wonderful glasses. $2,000 is here. Anyone wants to give $2,001? $2,001. $2,001. Okay. $3,000. $3,000 to give to Ukrainian people and take home this wonderful work of art. Okay, 2,000 once, 2,000 twice, 2,000 three. Thank you very much. So, <laughs> yes, guys, the game is you get something and you pay something. It's not that you're getting something like, like CDs or whatever. You say, I pay that and go home, right? Yeah, thank you. Here's for you. <laughs> Actually, he lives now in the United States, and he is one of the most notorious and best cityscape artists in the, in the 
United States today. It's not only my words, but my wife also can tell them. So one thousand dollars for Danish wonderful Jacques uh, Florence. One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars for this wonderful Jacques. Uh, can, can, can I offer my kiss also as a part of the deal? No. Okay. One thousand dollars at Jacle by Dmitry Danish. Okay. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars for the wonderful Jacle. By Dmitry Danish, no. Okay. No takers. Sorry. Oh, thank you. You're my savior. I'll give you this job. Ah, so five hundred dollars goes once. Five hundred dollars goes twice. So, thank you very much. And the last one is from uh, Andrew Atroshenko. Atroshenko is a typical Ukrainian uh, last name. And let's agree that whoever wants to take it will name his or her own price. So whoever wants to have it, raise your hand and give us the price. Uh-oh. You people are shy. Okay. Five thousand. Two thousand. Okay. Anyone else? Two thousand once. Two thousand twice. So, thank you very much. Your invitation has life links so you pretty much you're going to choose one of the three charities that are listed and that's where you are going to pay the moment you are going to receive a receipt we would love to have that one so you actually will be in the possession of this amazing piece of art so the moment you are going to donate to one of those three charities please let us know and then then in that case actually we will be giving you the piece of art thank you and a certificate as well, yes. Well, without further ado, I'm going to introduce to you Svetlana Pornstiansky. She's known as one of the most extraordinary performers of the international Jewish scene. She's often compared by the press to Barbara Streisand. Svetlana has performed with internationally acclaimed stars such as Steve Allen, Lionel, Hampton, Maximilian Schell, Debbie Friedman, Bruce Adler, and many others. Svetlana, with her voice, she is forging a bond between all global Jewish communities. Dear friends, I am very, very happy and honored to be here tonight and to share with you this beautiful event, event to participate, charity event dedicated to Ukraine and to share my love to Ukraine with you. And I would like to sing a couple of Ukrainian songs. I will start with uh, folk very, very well-known folk Ukrainian song, Chorni Brovi Kari Ochi, Dark Eyes and Brown Eyebrows.
two, one, two.
with all my love from Jewish people to Romanian people. Thank you very much, Romanian Council, for having this wonderful event. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Thank you. And because I'm an educator, the class is going to dismiss in exactly five minutes after I'm going to see how you are going to go to the live links we have in your invitation, and you are going to donate $100. The moment you do that, I want to see your phone up, and then you will be dismissed. On your way out, actually, somebody is going to play more songs for you, so you will go home happy. So please reach out, get into your phone very quickly. Pick one out of those three. Excellent, you're dismissed. Have an amazing night. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for your financial support. So the moment you have donated $100, once again, these are the three NGOs. You know what? Let's compete a little bit because I just have a feeling that the left-hand side of this room might be a little bit slow in comparison to the right-hand side of the room. So let's see exactly who's going to donate first. The moment you donate, just raise your phone and you can go. Have an amazing night. Thank you so much for being with us. Okay, let me see your phone. Let me see your phone. Excellent. Thank you so much. Excellent. You guys, what are you guys doing? I mean, the right-hand side, it's literally pushing there. What are you guys doing? Lingering. You don't have internet connection now, do you? Excellent. Consul General of Romania in Los Angeles, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Madalina. Okay. So the moment you have donated $100, once again, thank you and have an amazing night. Thank you for being with us. And a big round of applause for our Master of Ceremony, Aura Imbaros. We couldn't have done that without you. Who's, who's playing? And thank you all for everything that you are doing. Thank you all for helping Ukrainian refugees. Who's playing? Barry. Huh? Okay. Barry? 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 Oh my God. Stop him a bit. It's awkward. Mirela? You can see the pressure. Stop. Thank you, Barry. Thank you. Who's winning? This side or that side? Everybody's winning. As a matter of fact, only the Ukrainian refugees are the real winners of this amazing night. Once again, our gratitude to all of you. Thank you for your professional support and help. As an art dealer, we couldn't do that. It's an amazing profession. Thank you, Anastasia. Thank you, Simon Abbott. Thank you, all these people, all of you that, that, that auction for, for the works of art. And please share the links. Show the world that you care. Tell them to come with us, because in NATO and in the EU, we are one. Have a great evening.
So send me, send me what you can. Maybe I'll come over here. Santa Monica is first. Santa Monica is Okay, all right. Yeah.